Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyra here with another Exos Heroes video, and this is going to be a quick one, but a very important one. It's a PSA about the current core raid. So the core raid event has been something that, it's not new, this has been happening a few times, and there's a precedent set on how many shards you get per banner character when you finally get one here in the shop. And so how it works is, I'm going to show a picture of it, but what they ended up doing is, it used to be 7,200 of this currency, you get 9 shards of a general character. You need 50 to make a full one. And this was a really good way, even though there was a a ton of RNG involved, this is a good way to really stack up towards finally being able to get general characters. Them adding more and more signature force, I thought this was a fair trade-off for needing so many generals that we're going to get them through the shops of the Embodiment of Avarice, through Arena, and then through Core Raids so that are through events in particular. And then it's random on which generals come through, but there it's at least available. What they ended up doing is for this one, after having multiple core raids, I don't know how many core raids in particular, but at least three core raids where it would be nine shards, 7,200. So you could lump sum buy a lot of them for one general. So they cut it in thirds. So it used to be 7,200. Now it's 2,400, but you get three shards. So it's still technically the same amount, but it's massively different because of how hard it is or how random it is to get these general shards on here to actually show up. To give you an idea, I refreshed five times, didn't get a single one. Then I went on another account, refreshed four times to finally get them to finally see that it is three shards instead of nine, which for most people is going to be a massive deal because not only is the general shard random, but then you have to pay Zest to actually get it and you might not get that same general every single time. So you have to, there's layers upon layers of RNG already involved in this. And they made it another level here where you only get three shards. So you get, yes, you, you finally hit it. You actually get a general in the shop. That general in the shop is the general you want. And it's now three again. So they, they added that whole extra layer in there because you had to hit all those things before, but at least you got nine before. At least you could actually really make a dent in farming one of these general characters. But now you it, it takes, you have to get three times lucky almost because then that's two more times that it could just be a general you don't care about or you're way far behind on really disappointed by this change i'm sure a lot of people are disappointed by this change it just seems unnecessary especially in conjunction with something that we're supposed to be celebrating here new collaboration with another game like why collab with a game and then change something that didn't need to be changed it still is a massively long farm when it's something that it's oh hey this is supposed to be an exciting time in the game so i think that is a massive business opportunity. I really hope they revert this. Ideally through this, you mean I have no contact with them. It's not like I'm gonna change anything. I just wanna complain. Let's complain together here on this video. In this whole thing, I just think this is really unfortunate because it costs it costs so much zest to actually be able to refresh this. It costs 100 zest to do this. 100 zest every time. And I did it, I just wanted to see it. I, I was wondering that the real test was, I, was, I was wondering if they just removed it. They're like, oh, we got a collab, so we don't need to do any shards for a general. But then I saw that I actually got the shards and I just had to make a video on it because this is ridiculous in my opinion of how big of a difference it is because they're adding even more signature force. That's why it's so frustrating to me that they're adding more signature force, but then they're going back on something. And it's really frustrating when games do that, when they, they get, they set a precedent on exactly how much you, you should be getting of this uh, currency. I think everyone in the community kind of agreed. Yes, signature force shouldn't exist, but if it's going to exist, at least they're going to give us more avenues to be able to get this currency. And then for them to pull back at that and increase the signature force just seems incredibly annoying to you know, myself, I don't like that. I think that's treating the player base poorly and it is very frustrating. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. What, to end it on a positive note, one thing I do like that they did, one thing I do like is that when you go into these matchups, there's no mobs in the beginning. There's no mob, it's just boom. You just go straight to the boss. And I really hope that they keep doing that because these interactions are just not fun when, you know, they're just farms. Like, you know, see, I got my phone here. It's gonna go face down and I'll come back to it here in about an hour. So. You know, or whatever, you know, 30 minutes or however much Levy Stones you saved up for this. So it's just a bummer. I don't know. That's really all I have to say about this video. And you guys have a good one. Peace.